Hi all folks, so today I'm going to show you how to make Polek roe soup which is basically fish egg soup which is really popular in Korea. So first we'll need some uh, Polak roe eggs which is this stuff right here. And also you can cut up some Korean peppers but I didn't have any so I used jalapeno which works just fine. And some uh, chopped up garlic. Uh, and then we've got also some uh, tofu. If you like tofu you can add some tofu. And also I've cut up some radish and also I have some mushrooms, your favorite mushrooms. I also cut up some green onions and uh, that's pretty much it. So what you want to do is put about three to five cups and uh, boil with some uh, seaweed or kelp. This is uh, you know, to make the juice. Boil it about uh, 10 minutes. So I've already did that already. And then you don't actually eat the kelp. I mean, you can if you want to, but you can take it out. Actually, I can take it out a little bit later to add more flavor. And next, we'll put in some, uh, to add some flavor, we'll put in some of the uh, radish that we cut up earlier. So let's cut up some radish and put that in there. And then uh, we'll let it boil for a little bit. Actually, let's put some, uh, put some of this uh, mushrooms in there to add flavor. Uh, the radish has to cook for a little bit and also infuse with the soup so we'll be back after boiling it if, if it starts boiling in about five minutes so I'll be back. Hi all folks so I've uh, um, boiled this about for five to ten, about eight minutes and now I can take the kelp out the seaweed and uh, throw that away we don't need it, or you can eat it, wrap it with rice, but once you boil it, it doesn't taste as well. And you can taste one of your uh, radish, see if it's not already did it, and uh, it tastes pretty done. Just before it's done, it's fine. And then, what we'll next do is uh, add some tofu. So let me add some tofu. Alright. And then... Uh, we're almost done here. Let's just shake it around for a little bit. And then uh, what you want to do is actually put the uh, put the heat down to very low, and then we'll put the rest of the stuff because we don't want to, you know, uh, have a high temperature and it will ruin, you know, it, it won't ruin it, but it will, it will just the eggs will be really hard. The way we do it is we put the eggs in and then uh, just put it on, well not too low, let me bring it up a little bit actually, and uh, put it about medium and then give it another five minutes and uh, your soup should be done. And uh, we'll also want to add some green peppers, so add all that in. And then we'll actually want to add some uh, Korean peppers, dried uh, Korean red pepper powder, it says. So let me put a bunch of that. If you're not like a super spicy, just put a little bit. But this pepper isn't super spicy, so I can put a lot of it. So. That looks pretty good, right there. Okay. Just swirl it around for a little bit. And uh, just slowly cook on a medium uh, until all the eggs are cooked. And then we should have our uh, Korean Polak roe soup. We just call that egg soup in Korea. This is like the egg, egg soup and uh, it should be pretty good. So we'll be back. Hi all folks, it's uh, so on medium heat after about two, three minutes, it's come to a boil. And uh, I think all the eggs are cooked. You don't want it overcooked, and it won't be soft. Anyway, I grab my uh, chopsticks, just pull off a little piece, taste it real quick. Mmm, mmm, nice and dry, okay? I 
perfect. Now bring the heat down to very low because uh, eggs are done, pretty much done. And taste the soup. It's a little bit, um, needs a little bit of salt. So I'm going to put a little bit more salt. Just a little bit. Okay. And uh, taste it again. Make sure it's the right, it's not too unsalty. And also, they they have a Korean um, a shrimp uh, sauce you can get, which is actual shrimp. You put a little bit of it, and it's actually better. But I didn't have any, so I used salt. But either way, hmm, <clears throat> that tastes just about right. A little bit salty. That's the way you want it. So that's done. So that's how you make Polak roe. I kind of improvised because a lot of the uh, ingredients I don't have. But I hope you enjoyed and uh, subscribe to uh, travel-korea.net. That's why I have all kind of Korean stuff. So see y'all later. Thanks. And make your own Polak soup. And let me turn this off now. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't forget to serve with rice. You're supposed to eat it with rice. So see y'all later. Enjoy it.